I used to ask myself, what did God see? There is no man on earth that can answer it. We can give several answers as the basis. But at the end, we will turn back to God and ask him, why? It is then that God will tell you that there is a hope I have in you. Turn to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor there is a hope that God has in you. Ephesians chapter 1. When you go down there, the scripture began to list the things that can happen as a result of our eyes of understanding being enlightened. And when he spoke about it, he said, show me Ephesians chapter. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that he might know what is the hope of his calling? This hope now here is not your own hope. It is God's hope. Now, the scripture is trying to say, in every call that God gave a man, there is hope that God had when he gave you that call. So the return in investment is a testimony to the fact that the hope of God has been satisfied. If not, why, why we call, call a mortal man? A man that could have died when he's one year old. Now you can defend yourself. But what were you when you were just one year old? A lot of things could have happened to you before you were able to save yourself. But there is a hope. A hope that God had when he gave you your destiny. Gave you your calling. Gave you your ordination. That hope has been what is driving all the possibilities around you. The investment of God, the endowment of God, the empowerment of God is towards that hope. But the scripture showed us we came to the book of Ezekiel. It seems as if the hope has gone. One day I was in my room many years ago. I was praying, praying, praying suddenly the burden for Nigeria and Africa especially Africa came I was reading the book of Genesis I wept so much that my sweat soaked everywhere I felt as if I would die I was asked Lord what is it that Africa did that cannot be forgiven 